hope y'all it's your girl sass and i'm back with another one straight facts if you haven't already make sure you drop those comments down below subscribe to this channel make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl posts. and last but not least make sure you like this video up like this one the last one the last one and the last one before they do those steps for your girl so i told y'all i was gonna be back with another one i'm trying to drop bangers 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 y'all and give y'all the best content ever this was um requested by a couple of people um talking about crushes and how to get over a crush uh you know just like the whole glow up process or whatever but i'm gonna do the whole glow up process on a whole another video but we're gonna talk about like crushes um developing a crush moving on from a crush all kinds of things um so yeah um as you guys can tell by the title y'all already know what the video is going to be about um and and we are back with another episode of the talks with says i don't know what episode this is but y'all get the gist y'all get the gist so um i'm gonna briefly talk on um crushes um with me um I feel like if I'm crushing on somebody, they gonna know that they, they gonna know that I'm crushing on them. Like, um, and it's not that many people that I really crush on that I may find attractive or whatever the case may be. Um, because most of the times the dude come to me, um, which I feel like is best for you know the whole process to go about. But like, um, yeah, it's not that many people I crush on, but like if I find you attractive, um, I don't mind me i don't mind me going up to the person saying you know i find you very attractive or whatever the least they can do is just say no uh they're not interested or whatever the case may be but um i'm not one of the girls that's scared of rejection i'm not because like i said the least they can do is just say no they don't want to talk to you or no they're not gonna give you the number and you just going about your day. You don't need to feel no type of way, whatever. They got so many dudes, so many guys, so many girls out here for everyone. Um, but like you know, they have the whole crushing stage where you find everything cute and you know everything cute, and you like everything you like about the person, like the way they smell, the way they smile, the way they walk, the way they talk, um, the way they carry themselves, um just everything that's that whole little crushing stage y'all do like the little cute stuff together all kinds of stuff um it ain't nothing wrong with that but it's like um i feel like whenever y'all actually get in a relationship um i i think it's best for you to got um i think it's best for people to establish a friendship before a relationship because you can have you can be in a relationship uh five years ten years but if you don't have that foundation that legit friendship then it's like um i hate to say it but it won't last it won't last because it's like we don't know that much about each other we rushed this whole process we wanted to put a title on it so bad to where uh, like we don't have no set foundation of like our legit friendship like what we like to do during our spare time what is our favorite food what our, what is our favorite color what shoe size i wear um when i'm going to a restaurant when i'm going to a restaurant what kind of drink i like to order uh like how do i like my food season like the little basic stuff like that like to see if you really pay attention to your female or your male is like we don't have the legit foundation because we rushed everything we wanted to put a title on it so bad so it's like when you get in a relationship everything go crumbling down but i feel like um everyone goes through the stage of the crush not being who you expect it to be uh this relationship not working out or whatever i personally haven't had that feeling yet because i have standards and i know where my standards at and i don't put up with no shit i'm just i'm just letting it be known but well, other people, they have, they've been through relationships, they've been through ups and downs and all kinds of stuff like that. But I'm speaking on from what I've seen. I'm speaking on from the kind of sort of situation that I had. And I'm speaking on um, being around people that been, that's that been married 25, 30 plus years that I talk to about relationship problems and stuff like that too. So, um, yeah, people wanted me to touch on like getting over a significant other or a crush now me personally i think um 
it takes time in general. Speaking, I have a best friend that's going through it right now. But the thing about it is, it's different ways to go about the situation. It's like, everybody know they had that whole grieving process where you gotta put your pride to the side and just grieve over the person. Um, and I think that's what people lack at the most. People be so bitter and so mad about this big falling out or this big breakup that we just can't go our separate ways just yet. So it's like, say if we've been together three, four, five, six years or whatever the case may be. Um, and I understand that's time, that's time I put into this relationship, that's time that I took it away from myself or, you know, I could have been doing things for myself and I'm putting into a relationship. I understand it completely, but like to actually grieve over a relationship, you have to have, you have to, you have to split that apart. Like you have to, um, grieve properly um cut off all ties like it had to be cut off all ties because you're not gonna you got you're not gonna properly be able to grieve right if you don't cut off all ties if you just um watching it every move if you just keeping tabs on them if somebody going back and tell you what they're doing if you like the little simplest things like and then it's gonna trigger something it's gonna trigger your most your emotions and then you're not going to be able to move on from it. Um, it's just going to continue to be negative, continue to be toxic in your life. Um, avoid them online, which I totally agree. That's what I was just talking about. If you're watching it every move, if you follow them on social media and you can't, you can't block them or you're not able to block them because you want to see what they got going on. You need to be able to move on and heal yourself. How you going to heal yourself if you're paying attention to them and seeing what they're doing? It's a breakup for a reason. Self key give yourself time to heal and i totally totally agree with it i totally agree with it that was just what i was saying you can't totally agree from it if you you know what you call them um let's see what it say under it it say even if you're getting over someone you never dated it hurts when someone doesn't return the affection agree i totally agree we we often don't get the answers we need to use closure we want they, I mean, why, why won't they like me back? Why won't the relationship work between us? Everybody want to know that question. Why me? Why this can't work out? Why this, why this, why this or whatever? But you have to be able to self-reflect. And that's a key. It's key. Um, I was taught that somebody, um, I was talking to one of my mentors and they were saying that, um, before you go pointing a finger at, you know, the a friendship or relationship or whatever case may be, you got to be able to self-reflect on yourself. Is it something that I did? Is it something that I caused? Is it something that I said? Um, how was my actions being taken up on a situation? Stuff like that. And don't be able to put your pride to the side and say, I'm sorry for this. Um, I'm, you know, I was wrong for going about this whole situation, the case may be. Um, let's see. It say be able to feel the pain. Now hear me out. Hear me out. Um, hmm. I agree. I agree. I agree. I totally agree. It says we all hate the feeling like we all hate feeling like crap. But sometimes we need to feel the that way to allow ourselves and our brains and body to process what is happening. And that is key. I'm telling y'all, that's key. It's key. It's key. It's, it's self-explanatory. It's self-explanatory. Um, it said at first you'll probably want to blame yourself and say it's all your fault that it that it didn't work out with your crush or significant other. Um, and this is the last thing I'm gonna touch on because I just want to do something brief for y'all. But um, this is also key. It said be true to yourself. Be true to yourself and be honest with yourself. That's what it, that's what it said. But um, I totally agree. I agree. Um, the reason why I say that is because you have to be able to accept your fault. Meaning like um, if I did something wrong, you got to be able to own it. Um, if stuff been happening in your relationship, uh, if um let's see if 
um i don't even know but yeah if say it's stuff been happening in your relationship and you've been seeing signs you've been seeing signs of like um him being disrespectful to like all the people and you you're not thinking nothing wrong with it or uh, him being abusive him being aggressive with like his siblings or something like that you got to be able to see that see that be honest with yourself be true to yourself you know is that really what I want in this relationship? Because nine times out of 10, it's going to affect your relationship. Him being aggressive to his mom and his siblings, being disrespectful. Fuck you. Fuck this. Um, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. You know, that whole mentality. How they going to feel about your relationship? Be honest. Being honest with yourself. Like, don't try to seem like, oh, I can change. Nah, I know that um, in a relationship, you're willing to like help this person changed or uh, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that that's real life that's real life good um i feel like in a relationship or in a friendship you should be able to help one another out um whatever they lack in you should be able to help one one another out but um don't get me wrong like um it's good for a person to change uh a person to see like um oh well my friend being positive so let me be positive uh, my boyfriend, he got a job. So let me get a job. Uh, my, my boyfriend being active, going to the gym. Let me be active and go to the gym. It's good to have that type of, um, effect on a person life, but toxic traits, you can't change. You can't change. So you have to be honest with yourself. Is you, is, do you think this relationship really going to work with these traits? Do you honestly think, be honest with yourself. Um, it says, let's see, read some um, points. It says, what does their choice in girlfriend slash boyfriend say about them now? Are they just jealous or are they um, better off? Are you better off? What are things that drive you crazy about him? What are flaws that he have? Um, why, why wouldn't it work? Why wouldn't it work out? Basically, putting pros and cons together yeah putting pros and well not putting them together but like setting the pros and cons um what are the pros in this relationship what are the cons in a relationship um and in, even in a friendship if the pro outweigh the good i mean if the pro outweigh the kind then um then you know what action to take um and if the kind outweigh the pro you know what action to take just be honest with yourself don't let oh because i love this person so much uh because i don't like to be alone uh because um i like being in a relationship i feel like i should have that title um i don't want to be single be honest with yourself you're not gonna get nowhere if you keep setting that trait that that type of that trait going on it's not it's not gonna go nowhere but um i just want to share this video with y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all stay tuned for more content make sure you comment down below the any content um story times mug bangs challenges pranks girl talks um relationship um relationship advice school advice life advice um goals just any anything y'all can think of just let me know in my comments down below or on, on any of my social media it will be down below as well but let me know in the comments which I think I should do. Um, I love y'all. And for the new people who have subscribed, welcome to Life of Sassy. Um, make sure you tell them come join the plush gang, gang, gang. And until then, we out. Gang. Gang. Gang.